Today we will be reviewing the maintenance slash roller kit part replacement for the HP Color Laser Jet M452, M477, M377 series printers. Um, and as of the date of this video, the OEM has not made a part number for the maintenance kit. So our engineers develop a kit based on historical data of what parts rollers are likely to wear. So the maintenance kit uh, will contain a tray 2 pickup roller, tray 2 sep separation roller, tray 2 feed roller, tray 1 set pad, tray 1 pickup roller, and a secondary transfer roller located in the rear of the printer. So in the symptoms that you would likely uh, see or hear, hear on this printer would be a uh, whining high pitch or groaning noise, misfeeds or multi-paper feed, paper jams, and even page skewing. And uh, we will be using the HP 452 as our demo machine, but the process is similar across all three of these models. A couple, some repair notes on this is the repair time is about five to 10 minutes. There is no page reset count for any of these models. The, these printers don't ca capture uh, page counts for maintenance. Uh, the kit parts have about 150,000 page yield. It's recommended. And the roller kit is available in a number of different options here at Metrofuser. Uh, there is also a fuser replacement video for this, for the 452 fuser. I will leave a link in the comments below. And we'll start this process by uh, making sure the printer is off and unplugged. We'll perch it from the front and open the access door. Now on this roller we're going to just rotate it slightly to expose the left and the right um, pieces of plastic that pinch and hold this together. Next we're going to move down to the se separation pad below. Just slip in the flathead and pry it up out of its position. And reverse the process to reinstall. Next, we're going to move to the lower half, pull the tray out. A lot of these rollers are just spring-loaded. A lot of these parts are just spring-loaded, just pushed to one side to release the tension. You can see he, uh, we pinched the, I guess, green knob, blue knob, and pulled this guide up out of the way to give us more access down here. A lot of these kits come with the rollers separate, so we're going to, similar fashion, it's spring-loaded, plastic tension. You can see the gears are on the side of the open, with the open access, and we're going to reverse the process to just reinstall the new rollers.
reposition the guide back to where it was, reorientate the printer, rotate it to the rear, pull the rear access cover down, which will expose the uh, there it is, tray, secondary transfer roller. the process to reinstall. And the job is complete. I wanted to thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. For more valuable how-to videos and instructions, visit metrofuser.com and click on the blog link and search by model. Have a good day.